What's going on guys? John here. It's time for this week's App of the Week and we're going to be going over iBank 4 for the Mac. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you've followed my channel for a while now, you know I did a lot of videos on the previous version of iBank, iBank 3. And if you're still using that version of iBank and you need help with it, go ahead and check out my videos by clicking up in the right, top right hand corner of your screen. And you can find all my videos there, tutorials that I did with iBank 3. But in this video, I want to show you some the, kind of an overview of what iBank 4 uh, has in store for you if you want to upgrade. Now, if you're new to iBank, iBank 4 is going to cost you $59.99 to purchase. And if you're on iBank 3, it's going to cost you $29.99 to upgrade from 3 to 4. So, But first, let me just go over the interface here. It hasn't really changed a lot. Uh, from iBank 3 so up here in the top left hand corner we have uh, buttons where you can add an account you can add a report or add a budget they've actually removed the uh, budget monitor because they've come up with a new way to uh, budget your expenses in your income so in the middle we have uh, the download button so you can automatically download transactions from your bank if you have that set up uh, they also have the built-in uh, web browser where you can uh, go to your bank's website and download from right inside the application and you can also download quotes for stocks and to the right of that we have the sync devices button which will let you sync uh, your accounts to your iPhone with if you have the iBank mobile app um, you can also confirm the scheduled uh, transactions here and you can also back up your uh, data here as well and then on the uh, left hand side you have your accounts listed and you can hide or show those accounts you have the websites of your banks listed here and you have the reports that you've created here listed as well they give you three uh, kind of default reports that you can uh, watch yeah, you can look over here uh, last month to date uh, my your net worth and this year's expenses um, and then below that you have your budgets if you've created a budget you can show that here and then below that is the manage uh, category where you can manage categories they have a bunch of default categories that they've created and you can add um, you can add anything you want to to the category section and uh, make that an uh, income category or expense category. And then you can also schedule transactions down here and have your sync settings changed here as well. In the center of the screen is where you'll see all the transactions for the account you've selected listed. And within this, these transactions, you can edit the category, you can edit the type of transaction is, you can add a memo to that transaction, and you can also edit the withdrawal amount or the deposit amount within that transaction. And you can e even import a photo of even the receipt and attach it to that transaction iBay makes it easy to create reports to track your expenses over a period of time by clicking the Add Reports button in the top left hand corner and then selecting the type of report that you'd like to create. Then you can select the accounts that you want to limit the report to and then you can limit the categories that you want to include on that report. Next you'll select the date range for the report and then you'll give the report a name and use and decide the currency that you want to use. As you can see here, this report for my 2011 income and expense report looks really nice and you can actually print these out so you can put them in a file cabinet or whatever or they just store right over here on the left hand side in the reports category. In iBank 3, one of my most favorite features was the budget monitor which lets you keep track of your budget and make sure you within your limits of spending and in iBank 4 they've gone away from that and gone to the envelope budgeting method which means you take out part of your income as cash and put it in different envelopes based on the categories you use to mark your transactions so let's say you have a car payment every month you take out the car payment amount of $200 every month and put that in an envelope and once you pay that bill and mark that transaction as uh, your car payment that will come out of the envelope so it's not my most favorite way of budgeting and they do offer just to show you by category here how to budget but what I will most likely do is use the uh, reports to uh, track my spending one of the downfalls of the budgeting in iBank 4 is that they are not editable so after you've created a budget if you want to go back and add something to your budget or take something away you're unable to do so.
Overall, I think iBank 4 is a nice upgrade from iBank 3, and I think everybody should have some kind of software or some kind of system they use to keep track of their finances and know what they're spending their money on. Um, if you want some more tutorials on iBank 4, they'll be coming. I'm going to be doing some on more on budgeting, more on uh, splitting transactions and so forth, and if there's anything else, kind of a tutorial on iBank 4 that you want to see, leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. And you can hit the subscribe button up at the top to be notified of all my new videos on YouTube when they become available on your YouTube homepage. So we'll catch you guys next week with another app of the week. See you guys later.